Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to your brand new map change video to keep you updated of all the map changes in the world of Fortnite in the brand new Fortnite update version 14.40, Midas's Revenge. Fortnite Mers time guys, it is time to show off every single little map change and first we're going to start off with the biggest one but before we get into that, smash that subscribe button, I keep you guys updated with map changes every single day, if you want to keep updated with all that sort of stuff, make sure you smash that subscribe, we're getting so close to 600,000, thank you everyone considering to do that. So first off, Darun. This is in the center of the map. This is where Midas himself spawns as the shadow version. And this is the brand new POI. There are so many changes in today's update. I cannot wait to show you all the map changes. And let's head on inside of here and see what we have. So this is exactly where Midas spawns. If I speed it up a little bit, you will see that Midas does appear in a second as he renders in. And inside of here, there he is. Here he is, our little friend Shadow Midas with his shadow mythic gun which is insane which you guys can grab access to which is really good at taping out taking out the husks when people do become them by the way guys so yeah this is the brand new poi it's definitely ruined you can see that a lot of it has been damaged you can also get the ghost henchman here with the pumpkin launches which is really nice as well as well as a bunch of other little changes inside of here so a lot of stuff is going on right now you can see it looks like they summon Midas using some sort of kind of like ritual type thing his Midas's chair is just floating here in the middle which is hilarious this is like a reference back to some of the old map changes from the original ones from like Pleasant Park back in the day when items were floating and even the hero base so some really OG references right here to this and it's just really nice to see how everything is linked together and tied in nice with this lovely rune POI. Don't forget guys, smash the like button, huge goal today. Let's get 25K likes for the first time ever on the channel for four nightmares. This is gonna be incredible. Smash that like guys, 25K, I think we can do it. So in today's video, I've got so many other map changes touring the entire map with all the different POIs, all the different shops, all the Halloween decorations, and all the small little Easter eggs. So make sure you're staying tuned right to the very end guys. This is gonna be incredible. Here we first have the first decorations over at Salty. Absolute awesome stuff. Brand new zombie decorations with new Halloween decorations never seen before in Fortnite. And as always, guys, don't forget to support the content further. Don't forget to go and use code postboxpat in the item shop. It helps keep the content coming every single day for you guys. So thank you everyone considering to do this. Let me know in the comments if you're supporting me in the item shop. Much love and respect. Okay, so jumping back into the map changes, what I've done is I've searched the entire map to show you guys the perfect route for the fastest map change overview. So right now, Salty Springs has had its upgrade. We have so many things going on with Halloween decorations, a lot of new decorations which we're going to explore as we go around. We're going to quickly go over these houses because there's a lot of them on the map which I want to go over as we fly around, but you can see lots of new changes, new decorations. Unfortunately, nothing on the interior of any of these, but there are some interior decorations on some of the houses which we'll get into. So some really nice zombie changes here and stuff. Okay. Okay, moving on further down the road, we've actually got lots of these new huts scattered around the map. This is where you can get the brand new broomstick, which is just like the silver surfer glider. Very, very nice, very, very cool. And these are the POI areas you can find them. You'll see a bunch of these scattered as we go around. These are really cool and really cool areas to land at if you wanna guarantee that broomstick, which is gonna be helpful to run away from the zombies. Okay, moving over to Pleasant Park. We have some new decorations coming in over here. Some quick ones to go over. On the main house, a bunch of spider decorations and some nice ghostly stuff on this house here again some nice little kind of side decorations and some more on the back over here continuing around a little bit and further you can see we've got some more stuff here this is really nice again similar decorations the sort of kind of break in and i do like the way doom's domain is lit up a little bit more green than usual so that's a really nice little change there as well as some changes on this side over here with the pink decorations on this house this house was already getting decorated so it saw its progress and now we have my big boy frank here the ogs will know the reference to this one from Brawl Stars, but really nice little reference there to our boy Frank, as well as some other stuff here and all stuff, not just Frank, but there are further references from that from Frank and then etc. I like to call him Frank, but you can see here we've got other stuff with the spiders and ghosts, and on here as well, some more map changes here. Okay, let's get over to the big one because there's a big one over here. Sweaty Sands, there's only some small changes there. We'll come back to Sweaty Sands though, because there is actually something going on there, I believe, which I'll show you guys off towards the end of the video. But let's keep moving through because we've got some huge, huge map changes for you guys in today's video. This is going to be the ghostly store, the brand new store where you can come and visit. Hey boo, and this is where you can get access to all of your Halloween decorations, the Halloween Superstore, which is this year's main attraction for Halloween, as well as the tourist attraction somewhere else, which I'll show you guys as we get into. So in here is all of the Halloween decorations. You can see them as we go through. You can see these are the ones we're going to see at everybody's house. We've got all sorts of different stuff from minecarts to ghosts to pumpkins to candles and so much more. And let's just go in here and see if there's anything in the back of here. Okay. Okay. 
doesn't seem like there's much in here. This just, just is clearly just the employee area. Nothing really, we shouldn't really be in here. <laughs> we can see we've got more decorations up here which you can purchase. Again, some comics if you want some of them. It'd be really nice if some of them would be Avenger themed. That'd be really nice or Marvel themed. That'd be a really cool Easter egg. Inside of here, we can see we've got more stuff as well going on. We have obviously the zombies which people are purchasing. And again, the Gorg, I forgot, completely forgot how you pronounce these, but the Gorgils, Gorgles, or Gargles, whatever they're called. I can't 100% what they're rem remember what they're called. You can also see we've got Big Boy Frank as well as a bunch of other graves, a teddy bear, and some nice stuff here. And inside of here, we've got some more decorations you can pick up. And these are all the decorations inside of our beloved Halloween store, which has been here for years now. This is the biggest one we've ever experienced though. So this is really exciting for me and I'm definitely gonna be landing here a lot because I really do like this store. And obviously we can't personally purchase the decorations, but the people on the island have been visiting here and purchasing their decorations. Look at some of these skin previews here. These are some of the upcoming skins. Definitely gonna be some people making some troll videos inside of this store. Sadly, no one will probably visit this store because it's not really a main POI and there's hardly any chests here. So maybe you won't be able to make very good trolls here or attempt them but you never know i think it'd be really cool if you had them skins and were able to do that okay continuing on to rotate round over at holly hedges we've got some new map changes outside of the garden center as well as a bunch of map changes on some of the houses which i'll just fly past quickly because a lot of these are kind of repeated map changes from previous houses and pre previous areas which we've visited sorry my words keep coming out a little bit like muddled because i'm super super tired i couldn't really sleep i was super excited for the update i'm sure this happens to many of you as well so really really cool stuff going on here and obviously this is incredible so there are all the map changes there let's keep moving through and showing off some more map changes though as we rotate around the map because there are so many more for you guys and i cannot wait to show you guys what else we have for those wondering on the gnome storyline we are still stuck in the stage which we received last update no changes from there with the toys sadly so no map changes on that side unfortunately we might discover something later this season but right now there is nothing from what i can tell from visiting the map for at least a good hour also we have some other stuff as well for you guys to show off let's keep rotating through there's no really halloween decorations around here no update really to our little shack which we've been keeping track of sadly so there's a little note on that for anyone wondering about that as well as some new decorations inside of lazy lazy itself has had some crazy decorations positioned around mainly on this side where the residential area is again frank and more halloween decorations and some of the tourist attractions here which are slowly starting to kind of revamp but again nothing inside the houses so you're probably wondering Pat, where's the tourist attraction this season because there was one last season and we'll go over there and show you guys that in a second some really nice stuff going on with frank here and these are the little candy boxes you can break where you can consume the candy as well if you are interested so some really really cool stuff going on right there for everybody interested in that sort of stuff but yeah here we have all the decorations and all the halloween stuff going down for you guys okay so let's move over to retail and after retail i'm going to show you guys where that tourist attraction is because a lot of you probably are wondering so inside the retail we can see we've got jennifer walter's house which has had a few upgrades or the office section should they say which has definitely got some of the more unique halloween decorations with a lot of pumpkins on the outside probably one of the nicely decorated ones that have all the houses but i really do like the front of that i think it's absolutely amazing out of most of the ones we've seen probably my favorite one you can also see here we've got some more halloween decorations and most of the houses in retail have had a little bit of halloween decorations outside all buying them from our favorite store over outside holly hedges so really nice stuff happening in retail that's one of the major pois which we've had but no halloween shop there this season as we know it's outside of holly hedges other than that that's all of the main pois with halloween decorations other than lazy which we'll jump back to at the end because i've got a really really cool secret i want to show you guys over there when we head over there but the tourist attraction which a lot of you guys have probably been wondering about so the halloween decorations and the tourist attraction section is in the same area as last year and if you didn't happen to visit it i highly recommend it because it's a great area to come and visit you can see inside of here we've got one tourist attraction which we'll quickly go over because i want to go over to sweat and show you guys what we've got it's the same as last year so there are no changes here there's a lot of weird sound and haunted things at this area i highly recommend checking it out again i don't really want to tour it too much because i've already toured this one last year unfortunately not many people saw that video at the time but it's a really cool halloween decorations and really cool tourist attraction and very very spooky you'll hear some strange sounds over here and it really does give you some really creepy goosebumps in my opinion when i first visited here last year so if you've not visited here come and check it out guys it's a really cool area lots of ghosts inside of this one as well as just random spiders piled up 
No idea why this is a thing, but it's the same as last year. It's a really, really cool stuff. And a lot of uh, grave stones there as well. On this side as well, we've got the other Taurus attraction, which isn't as big as the other one. This, again, is a little bit of a small one for you guys. So, nicely done. Nice little Taurus attraction. But again, weird gnomes and kind of, I guess, teddy bears inside of webs. Some strange stuff. And it's the same exact position as last year. So, come and check it out, guys. Great tourist area. Great place to come and visit. I highly recommend it. Come and visit, guys. Come and visit it. It's really, really cool. Okay, so the final map change. Before we jump into the actual gameplay, where I'm going to show you guys some Easter eggs, etc. Here we have the Shadow and Ghost henchmen who have officially moved to Sweaty Sands. How awesome is this? Some great news for the people that love following the Shadow and Ghost henchmen. I'm a big fan of these. I've been doing a lot with these on my second channel, which I can't wait to show you guys what I've been working on. So make sure you come over to the second channel if you get some free time. I'll link it at the end of this video. There's going to be a bunch of videos on there today as well if you've got some free time to come over and check them out. So there they are, Sweaty Sands. Come and check them out. You'll find them all around here. They also have new pumpkins on the head which is cool battle bus unfortunately hasn't changed sad news however we've got a brand new mechanic in the game which will be only for this fort nightmares it'll be gone at the end of halloween these shadow husks which you can become once you get eliminated in the game you get another life and it's crazy if you get loads of these attacking you like what happened to me right there so you go up into the sky and you respawn as part of midas's army this is so awesome and i love these they have some unique abilities where you can kind of go through walls see near nearby enemies jump into the sky as well as your normal claw as well here's an overview of the abilities real quick i'm sure you'll figure them out it's four buttons very easy to use and if you stay still you also go invisible how cool is that guys how cool is that if you stay still you will go invisible but they're so op you can absolutely wreck people 25 damage that's a total of eight hits and you will eliminate people you can also drive cars with them if you want to if you've got some free time and you can also take out bosses with them as well unfortunately you can't pick up the weapons for those wondering you can also heal as well inside of slurpee if you need some extra hp as well as grabbing slurp barrels if you need to as well to heal that hp some tips there by the way if you want to heal because once you get eliminated one of these you are out of the game right now i'm over at lazy absolutely wrecking people with it and it's so incredible to actually play as one of these i'm sure you guys are going to absolutely love it and i really enjoyed it you can also take down people really easily be careful though if they've got the broomstick they will be able to escape and also if they have midas's drum gun they're going to be able to eliminate you in almost a one shot elimination it's very powerful against you when you're playing as one of these for some reason so whoever's got that on the map they are pretty much safe everyone else is doomed i'm almost certain that these are probably going to get nerfed down to 15 damage or maybe even 20 because sometimes you deal way too much damage to the enemy players and i feel sorry for the people actually trying to play battle royale but then again this is only a short ltm and it'll soon be removed very soon and i'm almost certain it won't be in competitive but if it is we'll get a lot of complaints on twitter unfortunately from the pros anyway hope you guys have enjoyed smash the like smash the subscribe and if you made it right to the end of the video comment down below pumpkin or broom the choice is yours either of them's fine and it's the little easter egg in today's video so thank you so much for watching today's video let's try and get 25k likes it's a huge goal and i think we can do it so thank you so much once again this is postbox pat signing out